ginger honey chips. Get one for yourself. $10, free to go. Enjoy yourself. Thank you. <laughs> I hope you can hear the sound of what I'm chewing. It's nothing but it's ginger honey chips. Ginger honey chips. Now in the United States of America. Everywhere you want. 862-215-2007. You can chew it like this. Or better still, put it on your cocoa, rice water, oatmeal. You can bring it in me, Akbatashi. Your whiskey. Your brandy. Anything you want to put it on it. It's so nice. <laughs> so nice. 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 <laughs> oh my god. Ginger honey chips. 862-215-2007. It's your ginger honey chips. Get one for yourself. $10, free to go. Enjoy yourself. Thank you. <laughs> I hope you can hear the sound of what I'm chewing. It's nothing but it's ginger honey chips. Ginger honey chips. Now in the United States of America, everywhere you want, 862-215-2007. You can chew it like this, or better still, put it on your cocoa, rice water, oatmeal. You can bring it in me, Akbatashi. Your whiskey, your brandy, anything you want to put it on it. It's so nice. So nice, nice, nice. <laughs> oh my god. Ginger honey chips. 862-215-2007. It's your ginger honey chips. Get one for yourself. $10. Free to go. Enjoy yourself. Thank you.
Okay, shut up, Peggy. Let's go. And some DK Ados. Hey, I, 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 I'm just playing this old song from the late Pabobo because the discussion we have today is the continuation of what we started yesterday. Yesterday it was very hilarious, educative, very empowering. And if today we are back again. We are here to discuss the disadvantages and advantages of being a second wife or being the first one. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to take this opportunity to welcome all of you to today's section. It's not been easy, I understand, but I also believe that everybody has to do something for themselves. Maybe, just maybe, you will want to also be part of my discussion right now. Share the page and invite a friend. Tell a friend that we are here, the School of Marriage and Relationship. The School of Marriage and Relationship. But um, I have too much to share with you. Listen to this one. Without many women, I will say many women, but being around, because if not, you might, when you get Stage, so this is the voice of Honorable Kennedy, a complex uh, a presidential aspirant for the NPP government the or the MPP party. He's yeah. an MP, an, an MP. Yeah. No, no, I won't let you know why. No, no, If you know the problems I go through every month, I tell my son and my nephew, you guys have to be careful, and they are not lucky. They don't talk to. You. They don't call women. They use my name. Oh, they use your name to toast the ladies. Yeah, That's my name. Name. But you've been around. Oh, yeah, well, I know what time it is. I know what time it is. You don't even get the experience. All right, so this is coming from Honorable oh, Kennedy Akompre Ejipon. I mean, he's, he's the Honorable Member for Singnoff. And um, now, varying to, to the potential candidate for the MPP government. Please tell a friend we are here, the School of Marriage and Relationship, our time is up and uh, we have to do justice to our topic, the continuation of polygamy. Is it a man having more wives or every woman having a husband? Is it about sharing is caring? Is it about we giving opportunity to other women so we could have a husband's peace of mind? Is it about trying to, to, to give your territory for sharing? Is it about learning how to deal with your act of jealousy? Are there advantages? Are there disadvantages that comes up with the act of what we call polygamy? Let me bring to your notice that this particular thing is, is, is very important to me. This topic is important to me because there are a lot of young ladies who are going through a lot of phases as a result of neglect, as a result of staying long without getting anybody to marry them because the husbands that are meant for them are already somebody's wife. And somebody's wife is difficult to get to the husband to become a wife. You can become a side chick, but becoming a wife is going to be a problem. We are asking, are there any disadvantage or any advantage in being the last wife or the second wife? Better still, is the first wife going to suffer a particular challenge of allowing the husband go into a relationship of multiple women? The voice of Canada Japan is saying that he's not going to advise anybody to do what he has done. We understand what he's saying. Canada Japan has not married multiple wives. As a matter of fact, a question was put to him about the number of women, about the number of baby mamas he has as against the 23 children he has, who is taking care of all of them properly, he said no. He has no count of them just off his head because he settled every mother. Every mother is doing well, but the children are his priorities. So like Abna said yesterday to us that she wouldn't have a problem when her husband is having children out there, but the challenge is bringing another woman into that house. It will be a bigger problem for her. She didn't bargain for it from the beginning of the relationship. And for that matter, she will not be ready to allow anything to happen. My question is, whether you are a second wife, third wife, the last wife, the fourth wife, the issue is, are you still not a wife? A first wife, a second wife, a third wife is still a wife. 
Does your position in the life of a man's marital calendar really matters? Is polygamy really going to be the solution for the challenges we are going through when it comes to women delaying in marriages? Is polygamy one of the answers that we can get to solve most of the issues that we are having as a problem, as, as an issue that we have to rectify? Is polygamy part of the issues we have to deal with? Do you see polygamy as a demonic attack on families? Do you see polygamy as a disadvantage in the marital system? Are you not aware or are you not too much informed that in the whole world, there are more women than men? So giving the opportunity for all the fewer women to take the fewer men, the leftover women, what happens to them? Are we trying to build a world of few married ones and many non-married ones? Should it be a problem for a woman who is happily married to welcome another woman to come and be part of whatever she's enjoying? Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome all of you once again to the School of Marriage and Relationship, proudly brought to you by Ginger Honey Chips. Ginger Honey Chips. Wherever you are, remember you can get Ginger Honey Chips right to your doorstep. If you are in Ghana, all you need to do is to do 0277 609 644. 0277 609 644. And immediately you do that, one of the good things that happens to you is you will immediately have somebody picking up your WhatsApp. And if it's a delivery, once you pay for the delivery, you receive your delivery immediately. And if you find yourself in the United States of America, you have not gotten lost at all. This package I'm promoting powerfully is because this is found in the United States of America. 862-215-2007. 215-2007. Or you can still call 202-412-5332. I repeat, 202-202. Uh, that, that number is not always on my head. I keep having challenges with that number as compared to the 862-215-2002. That number has just become a serious number in my head. But 202-412-5332. 202-412-5332. Call any of those numbers and you can get your order directly. Ladies and gentlemen, let me start my topic for today. Where are the people on Facebook? Facebook, tell a friend to tell a friend. Let's share the page and welcome somebody to come and learn. It is not about what I know. Is about what I want to hear from your end. Can you come back again with your basic definition of what polygamy is and what polygamy is not? Remember that. Good morning to you too, wherever you, you are connecting me from. Remember that my conversation is nothing bad. It is a serious statement to say, can we allow women? Can we allow every woman get a husband as compared to thinking about men having more wives? And the wives you are talking about is not a V-I-E-S in plural. We are talking about wives in terms of W-I-F-E apostrophe X. It means that they are not a plural wives for men. Polygamy is the practice or a custom of having more than one wife or a husband at the same time. But when you have a husband at the same time, it is not called polygamy. Like I told you yesterday, I was going to give you my definition as well. So when you, you, you should know that we have three types of polygamy, three types of polygamy, three types of polygamy, three, one, two, three. So polygamy has been split into three different types. The first one, which we call polygamy, is the practice of a man marrying two or more women. I say that is called polygamy. And we have poly, polygamy, polygamy, polygamy. Polygamy is where a woman has rather gotten the opportunity to marry more than two 
or more men. So polygamy is where man is marrying more than two women. And polygamy, polygamy is where a woman is marrying more than two men. And we have polygalandry. Polygalandry. Polygalandry is a group of married people who are practicing what I call polygamy. They are practicing, for example, I'm married to Vivian, and at the same time, I'm married to Vivian, and Abna is married to somebody else. And all of a sudden, we have the freedom that Abna can sleep with my, I can sleep with, I can sleep, have sexual intercourse with Abna, and Abna's husband can have sexual intercourse with my wife. That is poly, gan, gan, poly uh, that is what we call the, the polygon, poly, polygonadrine, polygonadrine, all right? So it's like a group of married people who have agreed that we can, if you find that I'm sleeping with your wife, it's not a new thing, it's no news, but it's part of polygamy. So polygamy is divided into three. And it's very, very important for you to note that even in some states, polygamy is a crime. For example, in the United States of America, welcome to Abna, Abna, Abna Sugar Crash. My love, welcome, my sweetheart. Thank you for joining me this, this particular day again. And, and, and I hope you're looking good and looking better this particular um, day as well. Yes. Thank you, my dear. Thank you for joining me. I'm happy anytime I hear you are around. Please invite somebody to join us. Very, very important. Tell somebody that the School of Marriage and Relationship is up here. Let's come and learn. Can I have your definitions like yesterday I had? And today we are discussing, Abna, our topic for today is disadvantages and advantages of being a second wife, a third wife, a fourth wife. Does it matter the type of wife you are? Whether you are the first, the second, the third, or the last, does it really matter? And I brought my definitions that there are three basic forms of polygamy, the polygandry, polylandry, and polygamy, which means the last one I'm talking about was where a woman can marry more than, the second one is where a woman can also marry more than one man. It's also part of the polygamy. And polygandry is where, it, it is the act where, uh, a, a group of people are married to Abna and then another woman, Adia Pena is also married to another man, but I can even though I have sex with Abna, I can go and have sex with Adia Pena, the husband can have sex with you, so it's a group form of marriage it's also part of the polygamy that is practiced, and I hope that would be nice because it will give you longevity of life if only you go and come and uncle you hey. Oh, Abena, are you sure it's madness? Oh, Abena, Abena. Abena, 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 is there pa 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 plenty people are practicing it a dos pa bibri 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 and some kicking a dos yes see yes see a dos that's why i played a song i played a song because I, I i love the lyrical story of of uh, uh dr papabo's song and that is why i keep playing it I, I i like this old song that is full of a lot of wisdom that is that is why i played that song. So we are discussing disadvantages and advantages of being a second wife, being a third wife, or better still, becoming that wife that all of us are expecting you to be. Does it really matter whether you are the first wife, the second wife, the last wife, or the third wife? So I have brought you my definition of polygamy. And if you are there, you have any other def definition, let me have it here. The program has begun, and I want to plead with you, please share for me. Sharing is caring. Much any sharing, go to your pages and tell them we are here on TikTok and we are here on Facebook. It's very important that we get more numbers to come and learn because this is how we empower people. I don't believe in an empowerment that people will not have what they are supposed to do. It's not about me. If we have over 1K, 2K, 5K, 30K, 400K coming to share, I think that we'll do a good justice to ourselves. This is probably brought to you by ginger honey chip. Yesterday, 
there was an interview that was run, and lucky enough, I chanced on most of the pieces of them. And I played a bit of it. Kennedy Ajepon, we know him to have 23 children. Yeah, I was about to say. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> but what Kennedy Ajepon said, did you hear what he said? I just listened to it, it just a short, it was a, just a short clip. And, and what what did he say about women and children? He said what? Oh, what I heard was he said nobody should marry like two women because the hell he's going to. That was what I heard. Well, that statement can be upon me. You are right, and I played it. Yes. But unfortunately, that statement he made, he's making it from a different angle, because Honorable Kennedy Japon is not married to more than one woman. Oh, really? No, he's not. He's not. He's a very good friend of mine. There's one woman. There's one woman, sorry. Yes. Really? Ah, yes. Okay, so he has baby mummies. Thank you very much. Yes, he has baby mummies. So the hell that he's going through is not, is not, so he's not tried polygamy before. He's not tried it. So why if I have baby mummies? Yes, and I don't know why a lot of people, are, are, a lot of people are sending messages. Listen to what I'm going what he's saying. You see what we are talking about? I said, no, listen to what he's saying very well. His own is not about polygamy. It's not about polygamy. Well, this is one of the shortest ones. I won't say many women, but being around, because if not, you might, when you get to a certain stage in life, you might think, oh, you've left something behind and you want to go back and know. But now I sit here freely and tell you because mm. you've okay. seen it all. Yeah. Would you advise men, young no. men? No, I won't let you go. <laughs> Why? So, if you know the problems I go through every month, I tell my son and my nephew, you guys have to be careful. And they are not lucky. Mm. They don't talk to you. All right. So that, that is that is what Honorable Kennedy Paul meant to us that uh that it, for having many children. What he goes through every month. And he's right because the budget to take care of 23 children is, is the whole state's budget. And he's making sure that all the children will have better education. And that, that is right for him. And I won't challenge him for that. But I'll challenge him when it comes to multiple women, when it comes to polygamy, because almost all the women that Honorable Kennedy Japan has had children with, some are married, some have gone ahead to go and marry other men, like Adjua Safo. Honorable Adria Safo is married now, even though he has two children with Honorable Kennedy and Japan. So the issue of Honorable Kennedy Japan's uh, statement is about what he's going through in making sure that the children will have a better education and have a standard in life so that they'll become somebody. Today, he might be going through a lot and saying he's not good. And he's, but if all those children, if all these children, the 23 children that he's taking care of, will sincerely put their hands on them, and become something in future. We will have a force to reckon with when it comes to the Egyptians. I'm telling you, Abna, because if one man can produce 23 children, it means that he's having 23 in-laws. If he decides to produce five children each, multiply five by 23. Honorable Kennedy, Japan is a whole community. And if he's able to make sure that all these children will be good, lawyers, teachers, mechanics, centrists, if every you profession, he gets one out of them. Honorable Kennedy Japan is a great giant to be reckoned with in this part of our world. Yeah. And, and, and the plans he's having, he's really pushing to take out all of them. I remember last two years or so, during the, the Thanksgiving, he brought all the girls to his house and said he was going to cook for them to eat on a Thanksgiving day. And he did. And brought them to come and learn how to cook because he told them he's not ready to hear anybody has been married and been brought back to his house. He's doing the best. When your mother comes to interfere in how he wants to bring you up, he forces your mother to leave or neglects you. And, and I like this principle. He's married to just one woman. As far as we are concerned, and he tells me, this is the woman that if he dies today, where they bury him, they should bury the wife. That's what, that's what he told me. He said it to me, wow. that among all women that he has gone wrong with, 
This is the woman that is so sweet, understanding, respectful. And when you meet Auntie Christy, you will clap your hands for her. Very accommodating. She has had, and she's a woman. Yeah. She's a woman. It's not everything we can say on social media. But I'm telling you that if I have encountered her several times, several times, several times, that woman will not see your phone call and will not return. If she's talking as if she's losing her voice, regardless of who you are, when she's talking to you as if she's losing, what's that? I'm sorry, I'm talking about the wife of Honorable Kennedy Japan, but you've not met her. If you meet the wife, you will understand why Honorable Kennedy Japan is still bold in town. And she's not an ugly woman. She's not an ugly woman. So that you say that, no. And she's not a novice. She's, she's not like she doesn't know what time is it, what is happening around. No. She's so smart. Thank you. She's so smart. She's so smart to know that if Abna, you come around and you are going out with the husband, she's smart to notice. But she's slow to anger. Unfortunately for us, this is what most of us I'm missing. I'm missing. We are missing it. Well, so the statement from Honorable Kennedy Akumprekwe Jipong is not to debunk polygamy, but he's saying having children like his dad round everywhere, he's believing that he's putting a strain on him. And I say yes, because even the fewer ones we have, those of us who are managing nine, six, and five, we have a challenge because we want the children to become okay. But like I say every day, never spend all you have to take care of your children. Let them get a starter, but have a life to live. So the statement going around, listen to my conversation. Is he about more wise for men? Or is about every woman having a husband. Think and be fair. Being a second, third, last wife doesn't really matter. A wife is a wife. Mm -hmm. Ah, I'm not, a wife is a wife. Who? Exactly. Whether you are the third wife. Oh, yeah, my right. dear. Who is your wife? The important thing is that are you a wife? Yeah, you're one dear. And like I said yesterday, the nine categories of women in the life of every man. The girlfriend, the sex mate, the baby mama, the side chick, the mother, the sisters, the cousins, the female cousins, the sisters-in-law, and the wife. The most, the most important person that can easily be introduced without confusion and any misunderstanding is the wife. So you can be a side chick. You can be a baby mama. But your position is not advertised. Your position, you cannot be introduced in public. The child can be introduced. But bringing you into the conversation is not very important. So I talk of the children I have. I don't talk of their mothers. It doesn't mean they are irrelevant. But some are married to other very giant men who are doing well with the women that we never have got opportunity to marry because we didn't have what it takes to marry them. But some men have come to take them up and the men are giving us respect because even though they are married to our baby mamas, our children are not part of their bed. Yeah. That's it. That's it. I mean, and, and anytime any of my baby mamas will want to visit me at home or visit their children at home. Yeah, of, How many baby mamas do you have? Oh, as we are counting, I've sent a message to you. I've inboxed hey. the number to you, my dear. <laughs> you, you want to be sure, so I've inboxed it to you. I've now wants to know. I've now wants to know. Hey, I've now. I love your age. Hey. 
I love your hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I'm not, it's, 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 it's pleasurable, it's pleasurable. I wish, I wish my, my, my first daughter is already 35. It's, it's, it's so painful, so painful, so painful. So what I'm saying is that, what I'm saying is that, don't, don't, don't treat your baby mamas just anyhow. And I've told the young girls coming up, the generation that are coming up, it's better for you to set up an account uh, for your unborn child. Because I'm not, as we speak, for example, if I should have a child with you, I'm looking at doing my best, but I'm looking at you doing your best as well. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because uh -huh, it, makes, it, makes, it makes no sense when I have a child with you and you come and drop the child at our gate and say, oh, I, 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 I pray to God I don't meet any lady of that type. No. I rather want to find a lady who will spend and will ask me to reimburse. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I want to hear that. So I don't want a liability in the name of love. Yeah, true. No, no, I don't want a liability. I don't want, not even a wife as a liability. Because you see, the virtuous woman is a business woman. Bible says that she, her, her hands find works to do like a merchandise ships. She sees a field and she buys it. So if your wife is not business oriented, divorce her. Can you please come again? If your wife is not business oriented, divorce her. Why? What 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 does it take to be, be a career woman? But if you're a career woman, you are business oriented. Okay. That's it. If you're a career woman, you're still business oriented. What I mean is that where, where a wife have decided that I just want to be my corner, my wife, my husband has. I mean, if you if if you marry your house, eh, you become old faster. Because housewife is a woman who is married to the house. If somebody, if, if you engage the services of a babysitter, then it's work. But if you are taking care of your own children, it's not work. Do you get it? I get it. Yes. So, and pay me because I'm taking care of the children. No. If you are getting the services of a babysitter, congratulations. But if you, I mean, who came to breastfeed your child for you? Who did? Nobody. Why didn't you give your child for breastfeeding? Because you think that it is it is service. No, it's a must. If your children go away, what? If your children go away, what? Who they blame? So what are we talking about? So that that mentality that we are also working and you should pay us every month because we are running a duty. What are you talking about? The duty of a wife, the submission is accountability. I am providing and you are making, that's why God made you the one who multiplies everything I provide. I give you spend, you give me a child, I give you uh, ingredients, groceries, you give me food. Anything I give you, you multiply. So women, don't reduce yourself to the act that everything I do, you got to pay me so that I become who I'm supposed to be. Don't do it. Don't lose your value. Don't. Don't lose your value. I don't support empowering women and people don't understand me. What do you call empowering women? Women naturally were created as an empowered speech. You are too powerful. You are too noticeable. A woman will not pass without being noticed. So what is... What are we talking about that we need to empower you? For what? What are we empowering you for? What are we empowering you for? For what? What business? You are bigger than whatever we want to push you to do. So for me... No, but sometimes we need the push. Push for what? Maybe you want to, maybe you want to set up a business. You don't have the capacity. Your husband has the... He has to support you. 
naturally once you are, you are talking about your husband you have a support already it is left with how to assess it most of you are arrogant establishing a business for a wife is not part of the rules of being a wife so most of you don't even know how to request you think it's your right that's the problem we have that's why most most side chicks are more respectful than wives and the level of prayer wives are praying against husbands come again get to the level of being wives, they also misbehave. That's what I'm saying that good, we understand that one but I'm saying that women too are there and they are very respectful. I say every day that I, I look, I, I will always say it and you can be angry, you can be jealous about it but if you my senior wife is so respectful that her level of intelligence, she's more intelligent than me. I say it every day. I'm proud to say it. My senior wife is more intelligent than me. So if you think that Charlie Council, I do a shackle. Then when you meet my wife, you think, wow. So if I say, Umba idioma for what you mean? So my Very intelligent, but still respectful. Very beautiful, but still respectful. She takes orders. She doesn't talk back. She doesn't talk back. So whatever I, I, I can give her what should give me comfort. And I don't mind. That's the issue. The problem is about I am your wife. And because I'm your wife, you got to do this for me. Who told you that buying a car for a woman is part of marriage? You're sure him. Why is it written? Who, who told you I want to spice the marriage? <laughs> the biggest spice to a marriage is when you are submissive. When you are adoring me as your king, not because you are a queen, but because you are a slave. So I'm you see, the reasons why you cannot accommodate another woman is because you yourself you have not understood what it means to be a wife. I'm saying, what are you a second wife, the last wife, the first wife? A wife is a wife. But what are the advantages and disadvantages of being a first wife or a second wife? So, Abna, I hope you've got a lot of messages that has come. Yes. And if you can access them from the beginning for me, if you can scroll for me, let's start reading and let's get opinions from people. Definition, what are some of the advantages and disadvantages of being a second wife or a first wife? Because don't think that it's only a first wife. Never think that it is only a first wife that has, has freedom in mind. Or second wives have problem. They are first wife who are suffering because they brought a second wife. Well, we know in this country where we went to parliament and the honorable speaker introduced the senior wife of Baumia instead of the junior wife. You forgotten in this country? And people are asking, why is Samaria Baumia everywhere and the senior wife is not, nowhere to be found? So we have trophy wives. We have trophy wives. Yeah. But have you heard that too? And I'm saying that something happened in Kumasi and it's a historic event at the funeral ceremony of Chamangun Tumi's mother. The two wives came together and they performed the, 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 the wifeship rites together. They didn't separate themselves. The two wives came together and they came to present the things that were supposed to present to the family. They didn't come to fight at the end. I mean, they if you... Each other. Before they, they understand each other. That because... I mean, it, the, I, yesterday we were speaking the, uh, and I think today Abby will come around to, to us to continue. Yesterday, Abigail's conversation we were having, whatever the, new, the man Abigail has found is doing in her life, it's not affecting the house. So what is your problem? What is your problem? Like Abna said yesterday, I want a accommodator in my house. So Abna, do you have a house? <laughs> do you have a house? I don't have a house. So your husband is accommodating you. And if your husband brings a second woman and says, this is where she's supposed to live, you cannot live with her? Can't you make the second wife the house help for the house? 
Don't you want to become a madam? Are you not ready to be a madam? Ah, think, be a sister. I thought you before you say you are in sisterhood. Are you happy that way a beautiful girl is walking in town without a husband? Hey, counselor, what's ah. on us? Why are you wicked like that? <laughs> See all these girls walking in town with no husband. And the chick of it, when you hear they are going out with your husband, you want to curse them. Remember? Oh, no, for the, the cursing, the, the woman has done nothing. If your husband is cheating with some man, why do you have to attack the lady? The lady has done nothing to you. Go with your husband. And leave the woman out. No, by my first place, what are you dealing with me for? Oh, I'll ask you some few questions. Are you serious? When I'm going out with a lady, you come and ask me questions. Why? Are you serious? The are you serious? No, serious? And if I tell you the purpose, will, are you ready to? Can you can you understand? Can you stand the purpose? I'll stand it. Yes. Ah, what is that? So what what is your reason for trying to know why I'm going out with somebody? I want to know why you are doing it. What is your for what? What do you get from it? So that I have closure. Closure for what? Closure for knowing why you are doing it. You are not serious. Keep your open. Don't have any closure. Ah. Charlie, you, you see, you venture into areas that are not in foul home. What I say, never be things that are not very relevant. Debbie, fashion who, but don't go and I ask people, you go and read my messages, you want to see who is chatting me for what? Okay, now you get to know that there's a lady in my life. What next? Are you ready to go to your father's house? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. No. So what is the essence? Oh, so that I also know how to move around. Ah, but you're already moving around. Okay. Who has stopped you from? No, who has stopped you from moving around? What I'm look, no man cheats with a woman that is equally the same like the wife. No man, no man. If you follow to go and look for the lady sleeping with your husband, cheating with your husband, you'll be surprised that it is not something closer to you, and you will clap your hands for yourself. Ah, why would your husband sleep with the house help? The house self, you disguise. You disguise a lost. You say silly things about her. Un daddy, if you can't pa, she said, I want to move on. I then, who cried there, who cried every time. I feel sad when I hear a fellow woman addressing a maid servant as nasty. But you allow such like maid servant to cook for your husband. How will you say that? I, I, I feel sad when I go to a home. And, and and the madam is addressing the house self as if she's nothing. But this house self is walking around the house and this is what you bring to your husband to see. A woman said, if you make her beautiful, my husband will chop. Are you normal? Are you normal? Is everything okay with you? What's your problem? So you want the lady to look ugly. Don't wear skirts. Don't wear trousers. Where this Jaribia? Where she at a dear tinty way? She now sit and go up. Dow up. Say, Sana, I am my game. What? Mumwena Cotida. Sana, my game. You hear silly instructions. Dow of ya, she demo, mempie. Who said that about Saswa? But go back and read scriptures. When Jacob, when Jacob married Rachel, and then they, they went married Leah and they gave Rachel as an addition, they added the maid servant. And when children were not coming, they gave the maid servant to Jacob to chop. How can you be a maid servant in the house of a rich man called Counselor Lutrot? And all of a sudden, you go on the street for a dog chain guy to impregnate you for me to pay the fees of that child. Media me agree. 
Mais n'y a pas de There is a prominent, there is a prominent minister of state in one of the countries that you might know one day. The mother was a maid servant in the house of a certain rich politician in our world. When they when they impregnated the mother, they said Yechikra, Yechiwa, and on on the royal family, and what what what, and they left the girl. The boy grew up to age twenty one, and they came back for their thing. Today. He's a big minister of state determining the nation's way of living. Look, there's a lady right now who is America, is a citizen of America by virtue of the child. A certain big man impregnated her and the big man allowed her to come and deliver here. So there are two children. Are you aware that out of the two children she has here, they've been able to file for the other three children of the woman who is insulting her. Now, the woman who is insulting her, her daughter is 21 and want to file for her to come and join her in America. Umaba and Aoma. Mango. Polygamy. It's not a man having multiple wives. But it is the blessing of every woman having at least a husband. Open your heart. You are too stingy with your husband. What is it? Obi, you Ah, every two weeks, Odi Ah, counselor. So, based on what you are saying, eh, I'll ask this question for a friend. My name is Madam Fu. You are on a ne ne ex ne ex Hawari. I know I've seen the ex. Thank you. I'm friend say ne you know Hawari no no. On like the way I know them, I know energy and prima go on, and I sound on the urino and a man crying because the urino libido from the social libido from ain't you know, um, the ex no, you're Muslim is a bad penny. I'm a warrior, no, I can hear one now because I feel someone in it's one. Nana Niji, I won't film on any compliment on your satisfaction, money, hot on. It's in a better name, and now I know I can hear you. One, and a madame who knows you, you are doing chess. It's all your day. The first place, Mamma, I said, Women, my uncle, TMT, or your uncle, I'm branching here because of the sexual satisfaction. You were, yeah, said your young idea, or probably a dinner, and your uncle, and your uncle, and your uncle. I say, 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 I or no, you're born in your daughter. Or see your baby, or new be cruel, Debbie, and your bonnet, and you're shira, and you're doing much at the end. Catch yourself. You're a minister, you're a jazz here. You're a debate. Ah, and now buy a number. Now, bravo, you're a bass, and you're a good one. Then, colleague, Papa will be cruel, you're a banner, bravo, me. I must say, I'm a cast as a son. Then, you're a summer, son. Yeah, and that's your son, you're a minute. On Cassin Tian and Coupon Bio Mudiabo Cran and Munyam is soon. I drink. No, 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 listen. Maybe I buy that. Or be you could look at Clara. I drink. Uncoma, I want any more. No, Miss. I want to say, eh, say, or person in the Empima, Uncle Warry and Anna. Be Yako ye man, it ya. David, 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 the abrantia ne kam enya no kure ne ire libri do bi anu fo wa fe etwe dada opetwe dada okay ah na ka se da fo adia adia ni ni da we gya se nam ho ge yi wa wale 
Ah, I we jaw be amber fire. Ah, we share our budget twenty Ghana. Cause we have the other money twenty Ghana. Then we kick our own. And now we are not branching in here. Not here, me here, me do, me never. Oh, we are getting any day. I'm not coming to see you. I'm going to trust our mom girl. Mr. Gofford, drama, they say, need a straight bullet in a GB. Yeah, straight bullet. Ah, now guys, I'm your boss. Until why start killing side chicks and adulterous husbands, then both parties will learn a lesson. Eh? Mm-hmm. What being to say? Can you please give us a quotation? Quotation of what, please? Favor and air from mouth. And what question is it about side chicks having the grace of God? Please let us know. Ask your question and answer. I'll give you all the scriptures you want. I'll give you scriptures. And Councillor, uh, please don't say you question. Quote. Okay. Uh, concerning Oleg and Minana Walker. Minana, a bit mama or Bema. I call my old back for the coming year. As a man of dust, it will be our own. Who claim man of the streets? Yes, ma massa. We are helping them to get their own hands man. Ah. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh. Bema, it is not about a man having many wives, so oh. it's about every woman at least having a husband. That's what we're talking about. Say, nice way of justifying men's misconduct. This world is not centered on how we feel always. I agree. <laughs> Which one is the misconduct? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, 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 no. If you tell me that sleeping with a woman is misconduct, you are you are defaming and reducing women to objects. Do you know what it takes to have sexual intercourse with a woman? Have you read that before? Nobody has stopped you from cheating. I told you there are three forms of polygamy. A woman can marry more than one man. So nobody is stopping you. I just, that's what you're learning from the school of marriage and relationship. A woman can marry more than Oh, yes. Yes. Do you have pen? Do you have a pen to write? No, it, it's not true. It's not true because, listen to me, on the journey of marriage, if we want to write everything down, then we'll divorce our wives. And I'm saying, in the journey of marriage, anything can happen. And if you are going, who has stopped you from going? Go. Who loses? No, but who lose? If you leave me, I go to marry a tree. If you leave me, I go to marry your mother or your father. Oh, you are you are deceiving yourself. But immediately you leave me and go, you are an ex-wife. So somebody is marrying somebody's ex-wife. So this is our discussion. Abna, thank you. This is our discussion. What are the advantages and disadvantages of being a first wife and a second wife? Why would a man more treat a first wife because of a second wife? The concentration now for second wife is about one of them. Nanim Sana, what is Sana? I had the I can't get the idea. I did And you know, crap. And you know, crap. Martina Cognon, Martina Drew Demo Abre, Udio Bia Kuba and Cheno. Then you can. The Adigi Bama, a young trot, a young trot. Nagabra, they do a gym, Mamma, see a duke. Now, say, then I'm supposed to be the catch of the state. Who be the who 
Obi di ukunu nam. Obi di oyire nam. Yani yane nama. Enya wu tini ya bejeno. Onwa ni susuma ya wafo mtini ya jeno. Enya wu. Financially, yes, and you walk out. Yes. Oh, now then our friend is Miss Ramo, and your friend is Jimmy. What's your crew, Jimmy? Then your friend is Jimmy. Then your friend is Jimmy. problem do problem no. Mean to me, and one mammy name you come anyway, and a map in a semi congo. I will buy for from the coming. No one has here beside permission. It's Miss Satisfying a year in your day, Mammy. Oh, I'm a number. Oh, I'm a Miss Rao. Why not say who's satisfied with me? Why not cast out? I know who wants it. Me myself. Who do you want to do? You're only tickling yourself to laugh that you are satisfying your husband. It's a tickling and laughing mentality. No, but when your husband tells you the truth, you, 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 you. If your husband tells you, say, what will you be happy? I'll be happy, I'll let. We are not fools. We won't tell you. But listen to me. That thing you people say, I don't understand you. If you leave the marriage, do you think we will lose? Nobody will lose. Don't say nobody will lose, oh. So if nobody will lose, why are you leaving the marriage? I said to me, what is not easy? What is the disadvantage of being a first wife when they bring a second wife? What is the disadvantage? Yeah, yes. Some of the issues eh, they are very heartbreaking. Hey, in what way? In, 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 in what way? How did they become heartbreaking? Me, 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 then they <laughs> Over penti, then over there no. On tina fi enje den. As a husband, so I own a kuri juma. So on tina fi. Ah na, who who can't say that? No, who can't say that? Says who? Says. So they have lied to you. The fact is that a husband is a man who is married to a woman as a wife. That makes him a husband. Sitting home. City home is not part of being a husband. On a natural Miss Hadin, you know, Miss McCoy, sorry, and who say, see, while we're in our fat, your chair, Miss Say, or Sunday school, say, me can't call a boom master. So, while we're in our fat, you try a bonnie. So, yes, the outdoor tree, yeah, your bonnie, and you know, now, yeah, Mimi, who is our year bonnie? Charity begins where? At home. Is he at church? No, at home. So, what your father is teaching and what the church is teaching, which one is better? Don't be confused. Steady and show yourself approved. Yes, Let's learn. Let's learn. Yes, sir. 
Disadvantage of being a first wife. What is the disadvantage? Share with me. In what way? How? Uh -huh. So you are talking about jealousy. And not Depending on the type of marriage you are in. So let me ask. You see, Bema, as my account, this is my issue. If I'm cheating, 
and my wife decides to cheat, does it affect me or affect her? Because as I'm sitting here, if I if I decide to press any lady's breast as where I'm sitting, my wife will not feel it. I'm taking the feeling. <laughs> yes, Samo. Who the corner of this Samo? It doesn't affect me. That's what I'm saying. That it is you. So you, faithfulness is not about me. It's about you. And the fact that you have decided to be faithful, don't punish me for your faithfulness. You decide to be faithful. Perfect. It is not being faithful for me. If my wife takes a decision that she will not allow anybody to sleep with her, it's not because of me, for her own sanity. Do you understand? So don't hold anybody. I'm saying that if you become a first wife, why do you, what are your disadvantages? What do you lose? Yesterday, a young lady here, somebody's husband has brought her back the hope to live, not to commit suicide. The wife of that man is not feeling it. Because they are not taking what must be given to the wife to her. They are not using the children's school fees to pay her children's school fees. Do you get it? Even even Muslims can't put on more supportive polygamy in the camp, no. I'm on the camp, no. If you move and buy the people camp, I'm on the penny side. I'm on the Congo Ari Menu. Oh, oh, Muslim. They're them today. Muslim Quran in case of bizarre here. And today you are too on the penny, no. On the shop. No, Monty has just said. Onion kuba. Hey. 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 Who you didn't quite do, Sika? Oh, bre. Yeah, one was said that and you are not philanthropist. Yeah, and you too. It's not me, Bisa, I'll say. It's not me, Bisa, I'll say. My name is Maggie Tifie. Maggie, I'm a house help. Beautiful Maggie. Beautiful girl, I'm a house help. Me, I'm a house help. I'm a house help. I'm a house help. I'm a house help. Piki, Waloro, Kwan Wanyo Mano. Na me na mbe shu akula na koskou. Me de me nye bema. Na abofre biya da che no. Che. Unyi. Che. Unyi. Na wo da che. Now listen. If you grow and your future is bleak and it's not acceptable, blame your mother. If you grow up and realize that your father is not very useful, blame your mother. <laughs> because your mother chose such a thing to impregnate her. Okay. The same way if you grow and you find out that your father is the richest man in the world, always thank your mother that she allows something good to happen. Okay. Hmm? I am the third born of the fourth wife of my grandfather. So I'm a child out of polygamy. No, 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 no. No, I'll give you an example. No, listen to me. Listen to me. Let, let me finish. Let me finish. I'm saying that I happen to be the, the third child of the third wife from for my mother. And my wife is happy. Enjoy me. Thanking God for the life of such a noble husband. If my mother could have refused to be a third wife, would I be available for you? <laughs> yes. I'm managing three wives. Oh, okay. Thank you. She's not divorced. 
Oba oba divorce party ni bi. En ju fe ni mu. En sem ki ke adosu. Yesi yesi adosu. Eh adosu. Managing three wives. You, you yourself. But who is talking, my dear? Wow. You say, why do you say wow? Counselor. <laughs> why do you say wow? Very easy. Wow. Why are you? Why are you? Why are you? Why Mm, okay. Me the penny boy there so be ah. Me me the penny na who brass here no. Me the penny na who brass here no. Wait, make a tongue or multi stores. You better. Obunu, Obumi. What se ne wa se? Obin jeni kru enji ne nume biane. I don't buy same cars for my wives. There, there, look, there is no difficulty in managing two wives. Nobody says it's cast in stone. When you buy ginger honey cheese for fair wives, buy ginger honey cheese for second wife. It's not true. There's no law like that. There's no law like that. That when you get visa for senior wife, get visa for junior wife. There is nothing like that. There is respect. The first wife is respected by the second wife. The second wife is respected by the third wife. It is a principle. What do you lose when somebody shares your husband? What are the disadvantages of being the first wife? Are they living in the same house? Uh, but if you can't live in, in when we're growing up, Majority of the homes we saw first and second wives were living in the same house in Africa, in Ghana. And they never fought. They never fought. Madobi Kasa, what's the day? Yalia Ben. The Yalia Ben, sir. Yeah, Yalia Ben. Now, you want to cut your seven number means two STD. What does it mean, Sro? Sammy Sumis Ro. It's a man, Jim said. Man, Jim said, I'm going to cheat your brow. And you must be a quack with you. I'm going to be a STD in you. Hey. Now, about me, I'm going to pay Miss Rao, or Domi, Minqua, Mini, the only flower, well, who are to say, if you are now, two years after what they can say, Miss Afi, Miss Rao, or can't say, wouldn't Fidi e chi abwa. Fidi e chi abwa ni sunku. E jano nsua ni sunku. Fidi e na achi na e jano. O how to say na usu. Muye nshu shi ni mukura do. Debi wong kwa ti a wadi anu honu. Den ya na woji. Den na woji wa wadi anu honu. Let's call the spade a spade. Um, polygamy be it. Me, I don't support polygamy. Why? Tell us why you support polygamy. No, why? Tell us why. We are learning. Why? You are not telling us the why. You be hurt for what? What are you losing as a first wife? No, what are you losing as a first wife? That's what I'm asking. What is the disadvantage for a first wife having a second wife? What do you lose? No, but who says? So let me tell you what happens in marriage. Marriage, 
when it comes to business, so let me explain something to all of you. In, in, in banking and finance, we have something we call high-risk investment. And a high-risk investment is a type of investment that your returns are high and your losses are high. Marriage is a high-risk investment. So whatever you go and meet, it is a closed book. And you don't know what are on the pages. You should be ready and be, and be, and be available for whatever comes up. I don't know why. You can't tell us why you don't want to have another person as a second wife. What do you lose? That's what I'm asking. We are learning. Okay. But you see, majority of us who are saying, I don't want to share my husband, I don't want to share, unfortunately for you, you're already sharing. Just I don't know.
Meshia ma kuku dama muti kuro imu. Ah, omo no moshe bema. More than nine years in the marriage. Na oba, when you nyam ne den, se u wale bema beshia no. En tu kache mse, bema oni biya wale na. Mini mo akuma boni ya diba wale sa. O baby ya opne ma bema oni biya wale ubiya ye widini. Upe umpe bema ni ye da ache. Ah, mame, mame, oh, mame, and you crack, and you crack, sir. My car, I didn't be one man at all, and man at all, yaman, and the yom one day. May she and my baby, Kawana, or Moshen, who you may do, mame, who you may do, who be yam more than and soon one, or more car, no Moshen, or one of a toy, and can't have brought you for ma. And I'm never preaching to my dinner, but that's what they're doing. So, and yet, desperation. So, this type of woman, they are the women that will grow to tell you that I've been Ubedi. Then I've been. You came to meet me. Me, that baby, I was Ubedi to account. And you don't be a coward. Oh, I'm Then I've been. Then I've been. Then I've been. What did you do? What I'm saying, what is the disadvantage of being the first wife? Peace, Ben, never say I am going for the woman. I am the one maintaining peace in the house. I am the one leading you. So why will I go and bring somebody who will spoil my peace? There are too many homes today that are very peaceful because there's another woman. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. There are most homes that are very peaceful because there is another woman and that other woman is the one bringing the peace the original wife is tired because <laughs> More than two minutes. I'm going to tell you, 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 I'm going and your man is saying, "What are you doing now, Obre?" Hey, Baba, this is never your brain, no. And Baba, can say, "Mo fa budin tu ya nsu keke." Ye niya budin keke. Se si agana statistics niya six is to one. One man, six women. One man, six women. Ye de fa him. Ye de be fa him. Ye. Bema, no crabby or why I am country. A disunity, may come with you. Abner, dear, you will fear our dear, you will court our dear, and you will. Kremu fwa wadi. Emrana ya de wadi ni chile se. Ni pe bie enti mi wadi mpre mi yonu e wo mre mi. Enti. Se wu wadi fiye di ya. Asan. Tena hon sa. Wu wadi koto di ya. Tena hon sa. Enti. Se wu kwa wadi ya. Ye ni asori ya wadi yu. Asori ni ya wadi yu. Enti se wako renti place ni di ya wadi ya. Or so for me and you are what you be as well as I see so. Or so for me, may I so for me, you are what you are be as well. It's in a master of a so good job, what you are in Fremen. Mindia dance, you couldn't be a. It is a new wallet. What's a day on a set? And so and so you be brave, say. Oh, to our dear swap. Yeah, my communion. Oh, to our dear swap. Yeah, my empire mouth. Oh, to our dear swap. Oh, why you are too Do you want to Jimmy? Yen chwa lwe biya wa chwa se mu. 
Yen chwa ni bebi ya. Okay. Eti bema. Eti kansela. Wuna wawa wa agin sobe wali ya. Gana mrane se. Se wo she kawa. Wun tumi wali mienu. Na wu wali fiye diya. Wun tumi wali enu edu. What ya siye? Na wa wali edu. Ne busi afon. 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 Ne Oba ta wadi aso amra ne se ye ntumi nko ye court awade e se amra ne se obi ntumi wadi premier nu enti na efie de no wo ye fie de na akoy court de ne pa na wa gu fie de no sana amra ne kawo you nullify the house one enti na ko ja oba wa wale e wo court a wo fa nsan ko fie ko ja wo be ko court e se fie fo no mu ni aho ni wo so okay do you understand it Okay, the second wife now to allow their daughter to be married by you. So let them go. Okay. There are more women for marriage. Okay. You know, we are not talking about a man having multiple wives. We are talking about every woman having at least one husband. Being a second wife or a first wife, what does it change? That's my question. Are you not a wife? So what are the women saying? So, and peace what of mind. Peace of mind from who? Both, both parties. Which are the parties? Oh, we say peace of mind. A bit of say, Bema, second wife now call her, no one needs you. Wali bika hon. Eh, bema o wale o ba no dani suba o biye mi mi tuwe me yiri mi impese me huni mu forever. I don't want to know her. Because me fan ko ye she. And I've encouraged her not to know me because I'm fan ye she. Christo, oni Peter na wasi and I want to know him and know and know more about his resurrection. Onumpo. When the cock crow, Peter denied Jesus three times. Now me, George Lutrot. Ah! You know what I'm saying? I'm being. Man, you have to tell me you have to do too much. You have to do too much. You have to do too What do you lose? What are the disadvantages of being a first wife? That is what I want to know from the wives. And the wives are quiet. So, A, B, May. What don't you have in your home? We don't have second wives in our home, so we don't know. No, I want you. To, I want you to envisage. No, I will not. <laughs> Abna, it is better to plan than to fail to plan. Life is about planning, my dear. Plan for any eventuality. Plan for it. Why do you do insurance? Let me read a message from Facebook. A.B. May, I'll come back to you. Let me read for you from Facebook for all of us. It says, A.B. May say, ladies here, fighting against being second wives and the addition of a second wife coming into, into their home. If all men were wealthy or women, or if all men were wealthy, all women wouldn't have a choice that's true and correct. What is here? Mamma, you know, was can't gonna come by me say, Oh, he ain't in a money, I know, Cassa Kemi. Or see the refusal of the addition of second or third or fourth wives in, in our world today have now rebranded itself into side chicks. That is not true. Side chicks will forever be, even when they are third wives and four wives. Counselor, it's all about the worth and financial abundance of the man. 
if all men hello who is speaking so what's your maybe oh be doing come on come on me say me tears and come on maybe i mean can we yeah those one as is financial financial independence abundance of a man if all men were worthy and most women wouldn't have a choice of an addition of women. So poverty is the reason why most women don't want to have addition. I'm being obedi. Or me no or him. Not say him. Say see our who said I have from from. Time I am not from yet that for obia small say what I'm more for. One after all, who call for air day? Who call for air day? Oh baby, oh baby, I won't pay bemo was counsel who should have four nine yeah what the end. I will be the yeah, not bread, people so casa. Mumon kasa in Brian Koy. Eh, Mariam. Mariam, Oh, okay, sorry. Then let's go. I'm not, are there messages there that you're not reading? Yes. Plan person may be sister. And she am fine, Mr. Mawari. It's a whole fine. Now suddenly, problem be am by she in C. And then you can have a catch and say, oh, the person may worry calm. I want to know my. Reason be a nasa a commander damn ma ma me bodin ni ma dwell me to me and stand there. Nasa me jaya e bone ana in your bone. Why they lose? No, that is my problem. So my problem is that why do you think that you would die if your husband marries a second wife? No, okay. Why the castle? Why the castle? Now we are sure so why no come and be a woman. I'm not sure. 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 I'm not now one ebre. Wa wo kanu mi amen ka one ebre. Wa wa wo. Wa ye Na Jimmy Ben no say wo ba sha wo bo ama wo mu wu. Eh. Ya no one say na am be. Jimmy na bata makoma. Jimmy na bata makoma no no ntina me say dem etwe me bo. Dem otwe wo a wo nya hwe. Ye kwa ntre so abai NY. Ma ye fa house self of you. Ne fe. Ye mi ra wo ho. Dem bi tie tie mi ra wo ho. Eh ye fa se ajo man san. Ene ye kunu si obedi abom. Me cook chroma, yeah man away. Yeah, when your house help or him on penis and up a day. No, 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 no. Check. My make a beach though. My make a beach though. Not girl be no sorry. And I brand you be sin in pe. I brand you sin, I get a nipper face. And I'll catch you be I said, Can you imagine that John came to me and told me he loves me? Which of the John? That John, the guy at the car park. And Okasa uh, Tro Mono and China John who got see gay hippe and I need to play so I did a down for pa any gear back on a cinema. Ne wedding the only do I or a gear back on high table reception person. Now, Otiwa, no, a friend, Annie, come. My husband wants malt. I say, Annie, come. My husband wants ice cubes. Almost man, some of you go in now if I tell you, I'm May <laughs> <laughs> say the respect is that the second wife will always pay homage to the first wife. 
if only you have the heart to accommodate. Not always. So not get always. the heart. Get the heart. I mean, they are not support polygamy. She but you, but you're not telling. Unfortunately, you're not telling us why you support polygamy. Please tell me, tell me, my comments. Me, me, baby, I'm free. I'm a Oh, we don't support polygamy. Uh, uh, I, I, did you marry your father? <laughs> no, did you marry your father? Huh? Were you the one marrying your father? No. Nah. Are you going to marry your father? Am I going to do what? Are you going to marry your father? No. Is your father's is your father's type still in town? <laughs> my, my dad is no more in Tianuka, So if your your father is dead, so the type of man in your house that you don't that's why you don't want to marry more is gone. Asa o papa group no me wu asa. Wura mu. Omo yin wu ye. Ah onimbi. Then avoid them. Avoid those types. You see, when your mother tells you, and I see polygamy doesn't stop cheating. And I want you to learn this: the fact that the fact that your mother had a bad marriage. Listen to me. No, I'm saying that polygamy doesn't stop cheating because side chicks are gifts. They are gifts from God. Blessed to be part of the marriage industry. Me bacho say. Me bacho. Me sirao pao na obia. Me sirao na me bisao. Me di abini ma na masiya. Eh, chulo sisamne hifa ene kasi tia obia oni obi kumche mpira. Obi bisa obi bisa sembi dambese. Obi bisa same na mbese me me ba ho ba me obi bisa na mbese because bible no nipo odi kan a o wale ne yire o fa na chi ni e frane dai ni e frane solomon na solomon po o ware ma ba ko ba ko 700 so dimza en o san o san ko nya sa check ba ko ba ko 300 300 bible ne say na solomon be shiri nyankopo adom no and the year no more seven hundred and a man shooting a man do nanya side chicks. Oh, and I want you. Ah, and Bashib annoy any side chick and annoy any race. How are you? Uh huh. Ah, okay. Ah, and they all come in there. And you know, and the first king, who can first kings? Who back can first kings chapter seven, verse eight? Or see, and 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 the wives of Solomon. Led him astray from God, not the side chicks. And side chicks, there are two types either you are a side dish or you are a side chick. You have to know whether you are a side dish or a side chick. Okay. Because if you are a side dish, your expenditure is different from a side chick. Hmm. So, what's the difference? The difference is that a side chick is a woman. Going out with a married man whose house is nice and happy, no problem in the man's house. Okay. So, like me, if you are going out with me, if you are going out with me, I have no problem in my house. You are a side chick. But immediately you start going out, you start going out with a man who is going through troubles in his house. You are no more a side chick, you are a side dish. So you, you are not the main cause, they are using you to solve problems. You are not the main cause. Okay. And for you, so if you are going out with a married man, check and see if you are a side chick or a side dish. So that you check your behavior. 
There are too many marriages that are still intact. And wives go to share testimony in church. But they don't know that there's a chorister who is keeping their marriage. <laughs> so my issue is that what would be your problem what would be your disadvantage if your husband brings a second wife what at all would the second wife do to you? Why is your my house? You 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 need what? You see, seeing another face in my house, no problem. It's a is that, I can't stand she's not there because of you. She's there because of our husband. Because you are a man. That question is difficult to answer because you've not been a man before. Women were created for marriage. Men were not created for marriage. Is it about the sex? Or... Yes, about the sex. We are not the same. So if a woman, if a woman can give you, why do they? No, it's not about sexual intercourse, so, because none of you can satisfy any man. If you think, do you think you are satisfying your husband? You always think you can satisfy your woman. Ah, but who said we came to satisfy you? We never came to satisfy you. Me, I've never decided to satisfy my wife before. That is selfish. Me, you, I, I want to go. Me, I want to go and satisfy my wife. I won't do it, oh. And they're selfish. Because where my head came from, I will not go and satisfy that place with my male organ. That is selfish. As I walk. It's my wife who says I'm good. Me, I've never said anywhere that I'm good. And whether she's lying, she's speaking the truth, only God knows. Because I've met men who are in their homes taking drugs to perform well in bed and have left their homes and they are performing outside the house without a drug. Why? Because a credit they hear them. Sometimes, sometimes mommy, oh, I got you. Mommy, mommy, oh, I got you. 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 I got now, one of them. One day here will be a young. Will be a young. What to a boom? Will be a young. One shall collect that good. You see, so I'm saying that our problem is why are we not accommodating to another woman joining our marriage? I asked my mother in law, so I, I asked my mother in law. Your wife is jealous. <laughs> you do what? Mm -hmm. uh, 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 hey, hey, phone. Phone. There phone and wine there. There it was. There it was. There was. There it was. There it was. There was. There Eh, hey, wine phone. David, David, to was it? To was it? Nibisa has added to Nigeria. Nibisa has said, Four now, dear Namas, no good soon. Nay, a wine phone. Nebansana, you re, et me cassafa with phone. Add a mufon and now with phone. 
Na wa wo phone wa di number se ban se na yire cassette ya. Ande. Who kita wo phone? Dey be na se who kita wo phone wa di obi number. O yire dey wey afanu ho. If you shall mu be ni, o ti report my police. Oh, my channel. Oh, my No, I three days. What TV? No, you buy it. No, you buy the television set. You buy it. All breakages are payable because you are going to bring me back financially. What do you mean by that? This will be the need or the new crew phone as you form as any wealthful iPhone and a new crew. See, Uncle Top, you see, and Tia see any idea something bring me. And I'm saying, Madam, what happened? Yes, he has been chatting with a certain girl, and I've warned him that he shouldn't chat with the girl again. So I cracked the phone so that she will learn the lesson. I said, Did you crash the girl phone or your husband's phone? Or see my husband's phone, Madam, go and buy for her. Bye bye, maybe a shocking. Macho any day any day, Miss Rao, Miss Rao, any day any day. Who can do your binama? Any any day. Show ya me ye, Miss Rao. Show ya ye ye. Who am I to show? I am me anam ye. Who am I to show? 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 On also children are doing because oh, you're an independent woman. Okay. She's an independent woman. I am not a lifeline to my wife. I tell her every day. If anything happens in the house, she should call the ambulance first and call me second. If you call me first, I am not the ambulance. Please, women, I'm begging all women. Nami bisa se eni di eni ne den o be ma di o ba fu fu na ma eni ni di a na. Na oba no u ye se na mu se u kru krashe. So wa u se e ye wa ding. It's your thinking that is causing you to be hurt. Do you know what I'm saying? No, how do you know say I no pray? Look, there's a lady, there's a lady here on TikTok. I admire her so much. I give her all the love attributes. I I I fall for her. I admire her. I love her. About three days ago, I came live and I think she didn't come or she didn't come early. Then my wife asked, ah, where's your crash? She's not there today. The thing is not lovely at all. Look for her. I'm talking about a mature woman. Ah, what is your problem with your... The senior wife. I would buy everything in the world for her. You see, it's not about me. It's about herself. Why do you get BP for your husband to walk and you having BP? <laughs> hey, are you, are you serious? You want to go to heaven? I don't know, so. Jimmy and Bruce, me. you catch him, sir. Me, me, catch him. Say, jam ya me wa. Me jam na mane What do you mean? Hey, you are worried about your husband. Listen to me. 
I can travel out of my house. Anytime I see my wife's call, she's just checking. Hey, buddy, have you eaten? Asan. The house is okay. She's not lacking anything. But you emotionally blackmail your wife. Emotionally blackmail your husband. How do you tell me that the way I'm looking at this girl is means that I am crashing on her because when I met you 13 years ago, this is what I did. So I'm using the same method. Ah, colonial method. When I met you, there was no social media. When I met you, there was no social media. Can we, wives, let me talk to wives. 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 Let me tell wives. Hear me, wives. Hear me, wives. Never give your emotion to any husband. Thank you. Don't allow any human being to control your being. Rather, let every human being enjoy your being. Listen. Thank you. The right to live is in you. Don't grow old against your age. Don't let me see your call and be angry because every call of yours is with loose talk. Don't send messages. Send me free or won't fail. A bit too stress. So, Kashen Kodu, Kashen Kodu, a boy, a betsy, a boy, a betsy. Now, who bought me dressing? When I say Yanko Pompo or Dream Homo, I did it. Yawa and Punya mean you were begging again. You curse me because you suspect that I'm going out with somebody. You don't respect yourself. You can call a certain lady from my phone and warn the lady. Hello? Hello? You. I don't know what your name is. You, this girl. I hear you are called Vivian. Hear me. My name is Mrs. Lutrot. I want to tell you that I was like you before. If you know what is right for you, this man you are following, you better stop it. Because I was young like you. I had breasts like you. It is something that has brought my breasts down. And if you want to follow both husband, look for those who are going to follow. I, Mrs. Lutrot, I will not give you that chance. The man you are seeing today, who is looking fresh for you to, to love, you know what he has gone through? He was nothing. I made him who is. You are a foolish woman to tell somebody that you made your husband. Who are you disgracing? Are you disgracing me, the husband, or are you disgracing yourself? You, 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 the, you, the woman, you are disgracing yourself. Because in the first place, how do you call somebody to eat? How did you get the person's number? You stole the number from my phone. Sorry. Anybody say I'm waiting here. Anyone be so be better. Be saying, I know the mic will change. Mami, I'm here. Mami, I'm here. Mami, I'm here. And baby, crack or printy. And baby, crack or printy. And baby, pictures. And the back altar. So say, I'm going to pay in tea. I'm going to pay in tea. Jimmy, I'm Debbie, mommy, 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 what's it? Pre baby, mouth one. I don't understand pre baby. No, or baby, I'm not me. The baby, I'm mouth. Yeah, a body send or body. You could da ho. I'm not here. Me, I'm not here. Me, who knew could da ho? Who could be my sorry? I'm a young pema grow. Or she need be a shiny bema. Or see the way I admire this thing. I hope it has not gone anywhere. I will kill myself the day I see somebody else have chopped this sweet thing. I'll kill myself the day I see that somebody else have chopped this thing. I will forgive myself. See how see how I'm just Christina made Tafri win. Made him a kuman yina net tafri win yo. Now cut it joa. O kote jua, o ni mbiyebe kan. E mousi se si a kote a emre. Nen san fun ya o ken kote ibe dinas wedi wu. Be mani o da honan bisan se. Enti kanokre chem. O wale mi. Wa fame chi da anan. E san fun kwe ye bisan. 
Now me can me can say Ainiya. Then now be ye. I say me can say Debbie. I say me boy. Me say Ainiya so. Then now be ye. Now one of the same to us. So what them say? Missy me, Missy me, me know what the I hope my child made that me him crumble. Me and Cotia. Met you on my mess. Met you on my one castle. Oh, if you say, Oh, I send bear. I can't sleep. I can't sleep. I had a dream. I had a dream. That girl I've been talking about, she was holding the machete following me in the dream. And you were standing. You were standing there, you were not saying anything. And she was bringing a magic to me, and I woke up in my dream. <laughs> hey. Mm -hmm. Hey. Menon, that's not that. It's a drama. Hey, me tick now, that's not that. Gabby, I said, me didn't know. What's not that? So, this is kind of the way she is. This is kind of the way she is. I don't know. I'm going to go down my baby. So, the so the reason why you cannot accommodate any other woman is because you don't know how to manage your anger. You don't know how to manage your emotions. You are weak in managing yourself. But if you can manage yourself, having another woman join your marriage will never be a tug of war for you. Especially when your husband is able to take care of the house. When your husband is doing everything that is supposed to be done by a husband in that house. I don't know. But I think that most of us, we have lost it. And until we get out of where we are, we will not be able to accommodate another woman. I still never got my answers here. That what really is the reason why you cannot accommodate Another woman. None of you have given me the answers. Like for me, it's purely emotions. So I want to work. I want to work on your emotion so that when it happens, you won't die for me. You are too sweet to die. I can't see okay. you. I can't see you in a grave because of another woman. Counselor, and to me, I'm too jealous. So but jealousy is a jealousy is witchcraft. <laughs> Oh, yes. We have to pray for you. I'm serious. I can't share my mind with anyone. Don't worry. You'll be sharing, but you would know. That is all I want you to know because as we are speaking, eh, majority of you who believe that your husband is all you have, he's faithful to you. I'm telling you that your husband is happy because of another woman who is not a wife. Look, let me tell you, if your husband is rich, mind you, the richness of your husband is measured by the number of women that he's managing. Somebody says women should make money so, they, so that we can get five husbands. Don't worry, go ahead. If that will make you happy. Men love. Women submit. Case close. Women make. Because the most important thing is that. The virtuous woman. Works like a merchandise ship. A hind finds works to do. So a man should marry a woman. Who has money too. It, there's nothing wrong with it. I disagree with you. There are a lot of rich men with one wife. I'm not saying you're not, you not speaking the truth. There are a lot of women that you know, there are a lot of rich men you know who show you only one wife. But the rest of their wives are quiet. The baby mamas are quiet. That is why they are happy. 
some years ago, I was speaking against men cheating on their wives. Then after many years, 10 years down the line, I stopped. Because I realized that my statement was as a result of poverty. There are too many things that you will do when money comes. So I say, Don't kill yourself before your time. Don't commit suicide because another woman has come into the life of your marriage. 100%. Don't see your husband as your alpha and your omega. 100%. Let your husband see you as his alpha and his omega. Let your husband come home because you are receptive. Regardless of what you think he's doing, what you feel he's doing, be a wife. Be a wife. Be a wife and not a knife. Don't be a knife. Be a wife. Don't be a knife. Be a wife. Let your husband be happy that if they ask him to choose you, he will definitely choose you and choose Which you. One is the knife? Come again. Which one is the knife? The one who goes through the husband's phone to check who you went to talk to, who you slept with. You are cheating on me. There's sickness in town. I won't have sex with you again until you go and do HIV test. I am tired of this marriage. I want to go to my family house. You are a wicked man. God will judge the two of us. You are not a wife. You are a knife. You are cutting. Be a wife. Be a wife. Are you trying to tell me, sir? When they come to marry us now, yeah, man, now. We don't have a say. We should just keep quiet. One of the things I want to tell you is this. Bible says that there was a man who was called Naaman who has leprosy. The leprosy of Naaman was a shame and disgrace. It was a slave girl that was able to talk to the wife and Naaman's leprosy was cured. How can a slave girl be able to talk to the madam? It was because first she understood herself as a slave girl and knew how to address the master's wife. That is why the master listened to the slave girl. Wives, learn how to talk to your husband and they will buy a country for you just because you are a wife. Don't feel you are equal to them. Don't be a knife. Submit yourself. Submission is total surrendering like a slave. Bible says, and for the rest of your life, your desire shall be for your husband. He shall rule over you. Where there's a ruler, there's a servant. Be that enjoyable servant, and your life will never be the same again. Don't abuse your husband, and don't condone to abuse from your husband. Don't give him the chance to abuse you. He is not your co-equal. So learn how to talk to him. Learn how to address him. Let him feel guilty, even if he's cheating out there. Don't let him feel like you are his reason. Because no man can justify cheating. No matter what you do, cheating cannot be justified. Nobody can justify reason why they are cheating. If a man tells you, I am out of my house because my wife is bad, it's a lie. He decided to do it. So the fact that I've not cheated means it's my decision not to. It doesn't mean that. I am a perfect being. Girl, you are not faithful because of your husband. You are faithful because of yourself. Don't be a knife. Be a wife. And you will grow old in this marriage industry. You become the best. And everybody will look for you and ask you, what is the secret for your marriage? I believe it is possible. I believe it is possible. I believe it's possible to accommodate another woman in your marriage as a second wife and nothing will happen. I wish the church would understand and stop castigating second wives. 
Stop saying you give them communion. Stop saying they are sinning against God. For the communion is for the remission of sin. Nobody can judge anybody with communion. You see, examine yourself. Set your heart. If you feel that you are not worthy, talk to God before you come to the table. Why do we stop them? Why do we say they are non-communicants? Why do you make them feel guilty because they are second wives? There are too many young girls today who will be more happy and go to heaven as second wives than be their only wife to a beast who will more treat them so they will not enjoy marriage. Think about it. If you want to be a second wife, it is not a crime. Prepare your heart. What if it's not, what, what if it's not um, a second wife, but it's a girlfriend? All right, I'll answer. All right. How do you deal with that one? All right, the first way to deal with a husband going for a girlfriend is how did you get to know your husband has a girlfriend? Ah, you said it on his phone. That's the first thing. So you went on his phone and you found it. Why did you no, go? How did you find it? I didn't go on his phone. Did he give you the phone? Uh, uh, he asked me to get the phone and I saw it. So when they gave you the phone, I you no the first thing because you went to ask. Now you know. What did you want the information for? So who is hurting you? Are you is it the one hurting you or you're hurting yourself? You see what I said from the beginning? Don't hurt yourself. Don't hurt yourself because the information will not do anything to you. Good evening. Good evening, my dear. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Okay, so let's take a conversation for a while, okay? Yes, my dear. And I have few things to say and few things, I mean, I'm learning at the same time. I'm a little bit confused about many things that you've been saying. I mean, Ekasa, Mujun, Huna, Mushe, said, Did you have a difficult childhood? Did you have any, were you traumatized by anything, you know, by a woman when you were a child? Because, you know, sometimes, because I'm thinking sometimes some people, they angry with sensitive so they come up with a lot of things. But anyway, let me say something. So let me answer that. I mean, let me answer that first. I mean, I haven't finished with the things. No, I'm but with that one. In that one, okay. if there is anything called a good home, yeah. I think that I have a definition of a good home. Okay. That is fine. I have okay. studied. Have it's unfortunate that I have rather studied and realized that when women yeah. find their place in marriage, they yeah. will never be hurt. Okay. That is what I have discovered. That the wealth yeah. will be better when women find their place than looking for equality okay. as their place. Okay. That is my passion. Okay. Thank you for that. Okay. As I said, I have a few things to say. Um, I think you were a bit like, I a controversial a little bit. Like you say something and you back it with something funny. Like for example, you would say, as a woman, don't let any man. You know, I think it's just trickish. Like, as a woman, don't let any man, you know, don't let any man um, bring you down. You are a strong woman. Then you will twist that the way. If you catch your husband misbehaving, you don't have to say anything because if you say it, then you are a weak woman. Because why did you catch him? I think, How do you catch him? Pardon? How no, do you catch him? You, okay, if you are catching your baby, for example, you go and catch the go and catch your husband. You know what cheating is. I mean, no, I mean, how do you catch him? The first thing, how do you catch him? I'm not talking about going through the phone because you are not allowed to go through somebody's phone. So what, how did you for catch example, him? For, for example, mm -hmm. people have sleep and cheated and then you go and catch your husband in the, in the house. Let me say, for example, mm -hmm. let's say, sleeping with another woman so you are caught in sleeping, cheating on you, isn't it? Good. Because since I'm back at the phone and you will tell me that... Why so you, you, you pounce cheating? on your husband so, having sex with another woman in your house? Yes. And then, house. and what would be your reaction? So what, what 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 will be the best reaction that I learned from you, my dear? Well done. I will say well done, and I'll go away. And then come later and we have a chat. So that's that's the, the way. Let me smell that. Yes, and that right. is. But that does that does that make you a weak woman or a strong woman? No, 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 no. That doesn't. That's 
I'm saying. That doesn't make, make you whether weak or strong. Everybody has their way of No, but me, when you do this mean, particular one, does it make you weak or strong? I just want to learn. I won't tell you whether it makes me weak or strong. There are people that will do this and be broken up. There are people that will do this and will not be broken. Go. So I'm saying, but what if you... No, but if you have the capacity to do this, we can fix you somewhere. Yes. You are a strong woman. Okay. That is fine. Okay, let's put it... At a you are not a weak because woman. Because a weak okay. woman will that's break down a, and misbehave. A woman, no. But that doesn't mean that she's a weak woman. It's her reaction that moment. You can't, you can't define that as a, as a weak woman because she saw you she saw you doing something with another woman and she, break, she broke down. You can't call that as a weak woman. No, why not? I don't believe that. No, why not? I don't believe that. Why not? Why would you say that? Because in the first place, you Weak found subjective, that's right. No, what I'm saying that what I'm saying is that you found me with another woman. Yes, and on our matrimonial bed. So our and mat I you, I So hold on. Our matrimonial bed. Yes. The woman didn't jump the window. He didn't break a door. I brought the woman on our matrimonial bed. Yes. I did. Because you thought you were not gonna be caught. No. You were doing it with no, hold on. So I did. Yes. Okay. And because I didn't have enough self-control, you chance on it. Yes. And your reaction was you comported yourself, walked away. You have exhibited what human beings were created for. The three mm -hmm. forms of reaction. Mm -hmm. No, the three. Mm -hmm. Can I land? Can I land? Yes, yes. Go the on, three, go the on. three forms of reaction for every normal human being. The management of your thoughts, the management of your feelings, and the management of your action equals to self-control. So you just exhibit that self-control, and that makes you strong. Okay. You can also, it can also be done like, for, I'll make an example. Yeah? Somebody comes to your house. The way they are reacted made you to shoot them. The judge can say that you are right because you were defending yourself. But before so the me meeting, no, so in law, sorry, in law, yes. before yes. the judge will say it was for self defense, they yes. first run a psychological therapy on your intuition. Of course. Of course. So if it's determined by the psychological report that you lost your mental aggregation, then it is no more self defense, but no, it's a deliberate action. Is our so you? No, it's not yes, your matrimonial home. So I have, I have a co-share, and I have the right to choose to use whatever I want to use it for. It's our. Yes, so you don't have the right to do that. I have the right. So no, it's have, it's our. Yes, it's our house. So why would you bring another person? No, it's our. So I choose. I don't ask permission to do what I want to do as the head of the house. Okay, okay, okay. let's. Say it's fine, sir. But I need. I mean, I believe that if a woman reacts in any way, that doesn't make her a weak vessel or a strong vessel. In my way, that is how I am as a person. I am not looking for the weak. I'm not looking for the weakness in a woman. I only look for the strength. I'm looking for. I'm just looking for the strength in a woman, not the weakness in a woman. Because naturally, naturally, every woman is a weak vessel. But once you exhibit these three items. The, the movement of your action, your thoughts, and your feelings, it brings you to the position of showing how strong you are. Not equal to a man, but the strength yeah, in you right. as a woman. Okay, sir, but you cannot define the strength of the woman by how she reacts because she's not the husband on bed with another woman. That is, the only way to, that is the only way to define the strength of the woman because the biggest peak of a wife to exhibit her animalistic mm -hmm. behavior is when such actions are revealed. No, no, you can't say that. Okay. Because then you are provoking. You did it for people. Yes. People. Yes. You can't provoke people and, and, and in such a way and say that, okay, you have to react in this way because if you react in the other way, it means that you are not strong enough. So let me help you. So let me help you. When we are doing, you can't say that. when we are treating people with phobias, after a series of treatment, we expose them to the object of, fra of fear and their but reaction. Not, you, are, you, are not, you are not doing this to, to, to 
how what word can you use? Your wife. So you are sleeping with another woman to be, to train your wife or what? I don't understand. Unfortunately for me, I'm not training you. But okay, so you're chancing on my lack of self because you see, a man who cheats needs self control. How do you sleep with another woman in your house without securing the doors? It means you are not security conscious. If you want why to would cheat, you even bring, why would you even bring another woman to your house? Safety. You can go I am more. I am more safe. I'm more safe with a woman in my house than safety anywhere. From, safety for what? From from safety being from disgracing the woman. Oh, disgracing the woman. So the woman saying you might not be disgracing her. You have disgraced her already. No, 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 no. I'm, that's what I'm saying. No, no, that no, 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 no. I'm saying. Like, no, what I'm saying is that if you are able to catch me in our house, it's lack of self-control. I didn't plan well because you are not supposed to catch me in our house, no matter who you are. But one day, one day you'll be caught. Eh? No, there's, there, and there's, say, and every day okay, I prepare. Yes, my dear. Okay, stop. Say something. You said you don't want to be, you don't want your wife to catch you because. Not just my wife. I don't want anybody to catch me. Not just my wife. Because you don't respect them. Actually, do, do we have a matrimonial bed? Yes. Where is it? In our room. It's not true. Our master room. It's not true. It's, I, I don't know about you, but I don't know about you, but majority of the women that got married, they went to oh, meet okay, the man. So now, if, if you are sitting with a girl and you get her to come now, and you are there, what will happen? And the girl will risk. Really? No, the girl will help me out. Because you don't want to, the man was not smart enough. You have this for me, you have disrespected your wife. For, no, whether she saw you or not. No, my wife, she knows. No, why have I disrespected her? You are disrespectful for bringing another woman to your matrimony, but you don't want people to see you. No, but you are bringing her to your man. So my question is that yeah. I want to protect that innocent, lovely girl. And I decided that <laughs> I decided that the best place to protect her is at home because I have safety in the house. And mistakenly, I didn't lock the doors well. I have disgraced no, the girl. No, sir. The girl that you are sleeping with, even on your matrimonial bed, is thinking you don't respect your wife. You do this. I'm saying because we you could have you could have you could have go and pay a hotel at Marriott Hotel or somewhere and nobody. So my question is that my question is that do we have a matrimonial bed? Yes, we do. Which one is that? Oh, that is hey, then most of us okay, are sir. then I'm coming, madam. Then we've done a lot of mistakes because most of us after our wedding ceremony. Our first sexual, our first sexual intercourse on the honeymoon was on a hotel bed. Was he a matrimonial bed? No, it's fine, sir. I don't want to go into that because I thought that. I thought you brought it. Oh, oh, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Let's leave that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine, it's fine. You will win in that place. But I'm saying that we're now, or we're with them. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not matrimonial bed. So there's nothing like that. Please, there's nothing like that. There's okay, nothing like that in the world. Okay, it's fine. Okay. Because we have sex on the floor. We have sex on the floor. Okay. We have sex in the kitchen, in so the couch. The you and your wife is no, we have a sex room. Unfortunately, there's a sex room, but we don't have a matrimonial okay, bed. Let's call it that. Let's call it that. Let's call it sex room. Private room for your wife. So it's and not for it's not for me and my wife. It's a private room for sex. No, sir. You see, this is. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, If we have to get items that are titled 
in marriage, we will never move forward. Our car, oh, my car, his fridge, his book, mm -hmm. his shoe, will move yes. forward. I am saying you are strong. The yes. test of a strong human being is your ability to withstand anger and still keep your head up on high. Okay, okay, thank you. So when I, I say I, make... when I say you are a strong woman, it doesn't mean that your reaction brings your failure, but your ability okay. to react to scream could still make you a strong mm -hmm. woman. But ask yourself, what will be the outcome of what I'm doing? Some people, when they scream, when they see that and they scream, they release stress. So in your releasing of stress, yes. what will be the Our Bible says that be angry. Yes. But, but sing. What you do with the no, it said be angry, but sing not. So I chance on somebody sleeping. Anger, right? Somebody sleeps with my wife, and I chance on them, and I started screaming. I'm a fool, bro. Obi de demi, Obi de demi, Obi de demi, oh. Na man fua ba. I don't think somebody will scream and say, "Come and check my husband." Somebody will scream and say, "Why are you making me angry?" That's oh no. Normally what happens? No, it happened. Isn't it? I have chance on but many. You said before you said that you said that they would never be no more. You'll be the next now. You did not get to know. That is what you have to do. And I'm saying that it's not right because you cannot define for a woman how she should react. No, me be sure. Say, 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 what you did then now be here. Uba bo mo. Now who can come on? Why they go to who anymore? It doesn't matter. Thank you very much. Let me tell you, if you chance on your husband sleeping and you make noise and you think that you are disgracing your husband, upon Chinik being there or say ban on the two no sell. Who is Mrs. Lutros? Yes, yeah, fine. I understand that. Who could be outside this to cheat out? Debbie Obia 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 Debbie Obia Nimda Ukuli Chiti. The son there. The beer, baby, a bed to be on and come early dinner there. Emmy Kun de Metanido and Massory and Bema Bema on your son could them before. Namina had drawn many Bema on Pema and some. And it is your, your, what you say about your husband. Yeah, but those kind of people, when they touch their husband, they don't say anything, keep quiet. No, it's not. Yeah. The, the issue is that you don't know your husband. My wife doesn't know me. Okay. And I don't want to know her. I want us to be married. Because we are human beings. Bible says that trust no man. We trust deity. I understand that. And I, I believe the fact that as a woman, your mind you should be like, as you said before, I believe that as a woman, don't go and check your husband's phone. Don't go and check it. But once you see something, you can say it. Because before, you were saying that when you speak, you are not a good man because you become like a knife. You say, oh, you are cheating on me. You are doing this. You become a knife. As a respectful woman, if you are respectful, if you are a respectful woman, that doesn't make you um, um, for for a man or somebody to abuse you. I believe that being respectful doesn't mean that you should allow somebody to abuse you emotionally. I because said physical abuse and emotional. Abuse, I said right? that. So I said that, that. Are you aware that yes. you are abused when you allow yourself to be abused? Of course. So I'm saying but that. Sometimes Sometimes, even when you, there are people that are being abused, not because they have allowed themselves to abuse, so, but because of the situation in which they are. Unfortunately for them, they are not in any situation. Just that they don't understand the situation they find themselves. There is a way to tell a man you are cheating and he will never be offended. Of course, tell us uh, how is the way. So tell us, now you are saying... And, and that's what I'm saying that... You should just keep quiet. So you said you should just keep quiet. I, I, and allow you to I never said keep quiet. Then you're not listening. I never said keep quiet. I asked her, how did you get to know on the phone? What were you looking for that information for? Because once you are looking, so once you are looking, so in the first question is that if you are looking for an information on my phone and you get the information, what was the reason for the information? Once you can't use it, why did you go for it? But if you're looking for information for divorce, once you get the information, divorce. But don't get the information to come and fight me. Don't find me naked 
Don't find me naked and ask questions during sexual intercourse. Has anybody yeah. used this organ before? I mean, that one you are going for. I mean, I'm not going to go there. No, no, but you see, you are hurt. No, what I'm saying, you are hurt. No, it's not illiteracy. No, it's not illiteracy. There are people who are hurt, and the only time they will exhibit their emotional trauma on you is when they get you in your weakest moment, which is love making. Okay, fine. And you as a man, it's, okay, it's the way you know you're the back. Find a way you also, as the way you are doing that, we should also have the heart to visit this state. They should also have the heart to accommodate this Okay, babe, I'm sorry. We will talk. Let's finish this. Fine, what is wrong with that? No, no, tell me what is wrong with that. If your husband keeps telling you, I'm sorry, he's destroying your well being. So you shouldn't say sorry. Man, anytime your husband keeps telling you sorry, he's destroying your well being. Why? Because he's not supposed to come to the level of saying sorry. Bible says that husbands love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself. How many times do you offend Christ? He never many comes, times. he never comes to say sorry. Christ has been offending us every time. When he saw the fig tree and he cursed the fig tree, Bible says that it was not time for the fig tree to bear fruit. So it was a wrong move. He never apologized. By then, the fig tree has withered. So you are saying that your husband should never apologize. He's he's your head. So what 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 that what is love? When the Bible says love, what is love? When the Bible talks about love, it says love is patient, love is kind, love is what? Love is I I I mean how is it? Oh my God, this is not coming. Um, it, like. Patience, love is all that. That is love. So love is not sorry. Love, love is not apologetic. That, but that is that is deeper than that is deeper No, no, than, respect. That is than no, no, no. Respect is apologetic. Love is not. That is deeper. That is deeper than giving the word the word I have apologize. No. So I'm saying that. So I'm saying that I have not stopped loving you. I have not stopped showing you. I've not stopped showing you kindness. I've not stopped providing for you. Yes, but it is part of I have not divorced you. I have not taken the title Mrs. Lutra from you. That is that is the problem. It is not about I am still protecting you. I am still the band over you. Amen. What will sorry do for you? Marriage go on. There is it will not take anything. And what would it the, take from you? If the you marriage, the the marriage is going on. It is you who have stopped the marriage because you want but sorry. Is, yeah, but not only sorry. Somebody is broken. Why don't you understand? Your wife is broken. No, who is so broken? Who is your broken? Wife. Your wife. Patch up. Don't wait for me to patch up. So you mean the wife should come and do what? What's the meaning of patch? What's, you are broken. Okay. Patch up. Don't wait for me. Of, of course, she will amend herself. But she, so why do you need why do, why do you need my sorry to amend yourself? Oh, Hima, I am not a problem with women. We are married. I'm married. I don't think I'm married because we have women like you as well. As I'm here, I'm not saying that women should disrespect, but we have women like you as well that don't understand. So please, me. I mean, I'm not saying that. I'm no. Wife. No husband. Okay, example, so no husband should say so sorry to the wife. It destroys the marriage. Did you say that? Yes. It destroys. I'll come and treat that. Our time, our time is up. Today we've done two hours and more. I'm saying that we'll have to treat that one tomorrow. Respect and love, if God will. But I'm saying this to you. If you allow a husband to apologize to you, you lose the sanity of the marriage. Yes. Don't worry. What any time, don't worry. My sister, anytime I say something and you say it's not true, it's a lie, I don't challenge you. But I give you maximum two years. You come back to testify. Oh, God forbid, I will not come back to testify. Don't worry. And I believe that. No, don't worry. Says, don't worry. Don't you. worry. My sister, hold on. If your wife is broken and you sit down and say, hey, I'm sorry for what I did. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Listen to me very carefully. Anytime you have a head, 
who comes to apologize to the subordinates? What happens to the leadership? I think what leadership is that leadership. I have the leader that leads that and he says that when there is a problem in the team, you call them and say, Hey guys, I'm sorry, let's come and work together. That is leadership. You are not a dictator, you are a leader. A leader leads with love, a leader leads in a way that makes everybody feel comfortable. That is the leader. You are right. not coming to the team. So, yes. in the first place, I want you to just take your time and steady. Yeah, no, don't worry. Right. Hold on. My hold on. Leader, no, no. No, hold on. Hold on. No, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You see, that statement, a leader must serve. No leader serves the subordinates. A leader. Say, sir, to be a great leader, you need to so, so listen. Listen carefully. Yeah. Listen carefully. I'm a theologian. 35 years as a theologian. I'm not ready to allow anybody to teach me what is true and what is a lie. I only learn. And I'm saying that if you are a leader that leads people and comes to say sorry and apologize to them, your leadership crumples. Whoever gave you the mandate is the one you apologize to. So you apologize to somebody higher than you, not anybody lower than you. Sure. Do you know that in the beginning, God made Adam and when he said that I have made them one, you guys are one. You and your wife are one. You are one. So there is no division. God brought that Arik so that he would give respect to your husband. Yes, but you are one in the spirit and in soul. So you apologizing to your wife or your husband or whatever doesn't kill anything. Doesn't All right. Kill so hold on. That scripture you are saying is not true. Let me correct you. Okay. Bible in says. They are not equal. They are not equal. Because in the no, Garden of Eden, can I can I finish? Can I finish? In the Garden of Eden, in the cool in the cool in the cool of the day, God comes to have fellowship with who? Adam. Where is Eve? Eve was in the battle. Thank you. Making sure that so she was doing her work. God comes to address who? If, if Adam was the leader, why is it that he said that oh, to the woman? Oh, my sister, I think you want to learn. <laughs> who? I'm, I'm saying that who did God come to address? He comes to worship with who? The man. Thank you. Number two. When sin entered the garden through Eve, when God came, who did he look for? Yeah. Number two. Number three. Genesis chapter 3 verse 16. When sin came and God finalized the curse, what did he tell the woman? He says, and for the rest of your life, your desire shall be for your husband. He shall rule over you. Let's not twist it. Okay. You are not equal to any man. Husband, hold on, hold on. My sister, hold on, hold on. Hold on and learn. Hold on and learn. Please, please, please. It's not true. It's not true. It's not true. Your pastor is lying to you. Let me prove to you. Let me prove to you in the Bible. Let me prove to you. Let me prove to you. Let me prove to you. Let me, my sister, let me prove to you in the Bible. Let me prove to you in the Bible. God doesn't address a man as a woman in the Bible. When the angel of God came to Mary, he never said Joseph. He addressed him as a woman, highly favored. Yes, yes. So God doesn't see a man with a woman's spirit. Don't bring the spirit of gayism. Can I finish? Let me finish. 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 That preaching, they tell you that in the spirit we are the same. It's not true. We are not the same. The spirit of a man, the spirit of a man is different from the spirit of a woman. So God made them male and female. So they are not the same. So don't lie to yourself. I carry a different spirit. I carry a different spirit. That is why the ministry... Hold on, hold on. My sister, let me teach you. That is why the spirit of a woman leading church cannot be compared to a drunkard man leading church. 
Well, the church cannot be led by a woman. Check the scriptures. So when you have a when you have a call, any man who any woman who has a call, and you think that God has called you, and you don't submit your husband, your church is bogus. I'm telling. I'm telling you that we don't have the same spirit. Anything. Don't say that we are the same in the spirit. We are not. You, we are not. We are not the same. I want you to first. I want you first to understand that we are not the same in the spirit. Are you okay? No. Have you, have you gotten that one? So there's a spirit of a man, and there's a spirit of a woman. They are not the same spirit. No. I want you to understand that first. Unfortunately for me, when it comes to Bible, because I address a mass of people, I am 32 years a theologian. I'm not bragging, but there's no scripture that God cannot use me to explain. And so I, some of these things, when I talk about them, I know where I am coming from, what I've studied. And we've lied to people that we have the same spirit. You can never be the same to your husband. That's what Bible says, the husbands. No, 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 no. In the spirit, in the spirit god doesn't see all of us as the same like he won't address adam and eve it's not true it's not true my sister god doesn't see us in the spirit as the same it's not true no it's not true in the eyes of god there is a man and there is a woman God doesn't see all of us as the same. He's not confused. He's not a confused God. We are not the same. So don't lie to yourself. And create a woman what? And create a woman what? No, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hello, hello, hold on. Hello, hold on. God created man in his own image. And created woman what? In whose image? It's not true. Okay. There's no scripture like that. It's not true. It's never true. God, for me, I am not confused. If you come to the hierarchy, men are higher than us. I'm saying that God never created. You I see, said, when God was creating, when God was creating the things, he created animals, male and female. Have you asked why he didn't create woman, male and female? He waited till Adam was disabled to create a woman. Because woman is a desire of a man, not a desire of God. Women were not created for God. Women were created for men. Did God create? Did God create woman like He created man? He took him from his rib. Hello, hello, sister. Let's learn, sister. Let's learn. Was woman created like God created man? Why? Did he get finished with products? Why did he disable man? It's not true. He took him from his ribs so that man can have can have affection for the thing. No, so that no, so that we can have affection for you. I think this discussion is getting worse. I wish I wish you would come back to learn the next time because most of them have been brainwashed with such such malice malice of scriptures. And let me hello hello hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on. No woman is a leader. No 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 woman is a leader in your house. If your husband if your wife is more spiritual than you, your house is full of demons. Because the head of the family, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hello, 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 hello. Who was Deborah? Yes. Who was Deborah? No, you tell me, sir. No, no, who was Deborah? Thank you. Who was Deborah? She led, she led her people. So who was Deborah serving under? She led her people. No, Deborah was serving under who? Was Deborah leader or she was not a leader. She was serving under. 
leader. Debbie or so be a seat. It's in a man and maybe a sorry. It's in a man and maybe a sorry. I saw Are you not under somebody? Who? Are you not under somebody? No. I am serving, I am serving under the leadership of God. So I say sorry to God, not to people under me. I don't apologize to those under me. But that one was a prophet. What prophet was under who? She was a, it, it doesn't matter. You he matters. No, he matters. Deborah was not going direct to yeah, God. She was one of the, she was under one of the prophets. She was seven under prophets. She. What are you going to say then? A female military leader. Wait, wait. She even, she, she what? Retweeted a man. The general, Deborah was the leader. Said, if you don't know about this. I say, who, who was Deborah serving Deborah under? Deborah had a husband. Hello. So she was under her Hello. Husband. Who was Deborah serving under? Go and check. Go and check and check Dockers. Who are they serving under? Your spirit is not the same. You don't have the same spirit. So let's respect men. We are not saying we are not respected. So we are not having the same. God doesn't see us the same. So don't say that. I'm saying that I say your husband should not apologize to you. It's a wrong thing. I believe that this is a very clear, this is a very clear, matured opinion of yours. But I'm telling you that the truth is that if your leader comes back to say sorry to you, it bruises the leadership quality. And let's learn it. This is why most ladies who believe they have the call of God upon their lives have lost their husbands. And most of them. Their husbands are not operating well anymore. Well, one day, we've overrun our time. But I think we'll come back to this discussion. Okay, I want us to learn that. I want us to learn that. Saying sorry to your wife doesn't bring help to your leadership quality. I don't think so. It's wrong, guys. It's wrong, guys. Saying sorry to your wife doesn't actually build the relationship. If you are a leader and you make wrong in leadership, you are serving your people, you are serving your home. You call your wife and you talk family to them and you say, I apologize for what I did if I did wrong. That doesn't make you a, a no man, that doesn't bring your title down. Actually, you are even respected more for being such a man. I think culture also play a big role. Culture also play, play a, a, a All right. big role. So I, wa I want us to wrap up. Because we, we, we will not end this thing. But let me tell you this. I'm leading my family. The direction by which I'm going, the blueprint is not in the hands of my wife. It's in my hands, given to me by my leader. So when I'm even wrong, my wife doesn't know. If you go back to apologize to your wife, you lose your leadership quality. I mean, so that if, is your rule if, if you have. If, if, that doesn't mean for everybody. If if I mean, if you are married to a woman who constantly demands your apology, she just wants you to die early and be careful, because a constant a constant apology from a man loses his position as the leader. Leaders don't apologize to subordinates; they swallow the hard pill and keep going. As often as you apologize to your wife, very soon, 
you become a pillar of salt because you're supposed to focus. Don't turn your head. But why would your wife, why would your wife always ask apology? If your wife is demanding constant she apology, she doesn't want you to move on. But why would she ask for constant apology if she doesn't do what you do? If your husband, if your wife is constantly demanding for apology, she doesn't want you to move on. Why? What Go you to do? your leader. You Focus on your leadership. Because God told Hosea. But that is why your, your, your God. God, God, God told Hosea, and the wife was there. God didn't tell the wife, go and marry a prostitute. God told Abraham, sacrifice your only son for me. Sarah was there. Abraham didn't tell Sarah anything. And didn't need to apologize to Sarah. Leadership is making hard decisions. Leadership is hard decision. Not succumbing to the apologies of your wife. If you are a man no. and you no. constantly want to apologize to your wife, you become a pillar of salt. You won't go anywhere. What what whatever your husband did that you feel is wrong, he is not an obligation to apologize to you. So demand of apology. That is why in leadership managing marital conflict. When a husband and a wife are having conflict, you don't interrogate them and ask the man to apologize to the wife. It's a case. One day I have to teach it's this. A hey, you apologize to your subordinate. You what lost it. For, for, for doing wrong. What? So Aku must come nationally and apologize to us? Do you know what it means? It's treason. He's lost the leadership. You don't apologize to your wife. You don't apologize to your wife. You don't. So you have not seen, you have not seen government that have come to apologize. We are sorry for you have never seen it before. Ah, government apologizing for what? Then go and do research now. No, government apologizing they for are, what? They, they have killed people. They have killed people. They come and apologize. I apologize for doing this. That, that. No, no. When, when, and check the records. When governments come for apology, where does the governance end? Your apology ends your governance. Government is not your wife. I'm, so I'm telling you brought it and I'm saying that in the first place I'm saying that in leadership position never apologize to your subordinates it weakens your leadership the government has a team and what they do with their team that you are not there so you don't know what I'm saying is that leadership maybe this is because of culture because it's not culture forget about culture we are talking about husband and wife not culture listen sir I'm saying that don't apologize to your wife. If your wife is demanding apology, she wants you to become a pillar of salt. Focus and move on. Move on. She's crying. Apologize to me for what you have done. Otherwise, I'll kill myself. Don't my hair. Let her kill herself. Let her kill herself. Never weaken your leadership with apology. Husbands, even Jesus Christ was controversial. Husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself. Give yourself, but never apologize. Give yourself, but don't apologize. Don't do that because it weakens your leadership. Any form of apology they are looking for, don't do it and weaken your leadership. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a milestone of two hours, 48 minutes. The longest ever. It's been fun. My sister came in at the last point. And I thought it wise to give her 30 minutes of clearing her throat. She's done that. It's good. Knowledge is power. Don't come teaching unprepared, regardless of the topic you are treating. I, in my heart, I am proud of myself. Oh, I am very proud of myself. Too. So whatever we come to teach, Whatever we come to discuss 
have a discussion on. The fact that the topic will not be anywhere, somebody will want to come and clear their throat and their mind. Let's keep learning. Knowledge is power. Thank you all for joining me for today's section. Unfortunately for those who didn't enjoy the last bit, our discussion was simple. Polygamy is not men having more wives, but it's that every woman will have a husband. How do we build women to have the patience to accommodate another woman in, in their marriage? Abna is not too ready for it. But one day, if it happens, she has a heart to accommodate. Thank you for coming. Abna, today you didn't, the messages were too much. You know, you able to read. <laughs> it was too much, and the banter up and down was just too much. <laughs> <laughs> let, me read, let me read some funny thing that came behind us to your product supply. Two no. <laughs> So, my wife just sent me a message at the backstage. That's what. <laughs> She's proud of me. Oh, a virtuous wife. And she's learned that apologizing to her will oh, destroy. My husband also sent me a message. He said thank you. Don't worry, your husband will have to send you a message because virtuous you are wife. because Absolutely. because you are a wife. That's good. And I hope that your husband is able to control you, even though you are a pastor. Congratulations to all of us. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. So you are under your husband. Are you aware? Me? Pastor Ruti, are you aware you're under your husband and not God? Oh, yes, I am under my husband. Thank my you. leader is my everything. Thank God. This face will move. This will move. Being somebody that talks doesn't mean that Oh, my sister, don't start a new conversation. You are under your husband. No, no, you are under your husband, and that's all. Of course. It's a closing prayer. Of course. Amen. We, we thank God that you have a husband, and I'm happy he's in charge. May God bless him Amen. for being in charge of you. Because Amen. if he didn't come, you could have not have any direction. Thank God for your husband's direction. Amen. <laughs> Good night, ladies and gentlemen. I'll come back to you again in a few moments. But it's been lovely. Uh, let's gift ourselves. Thank you very much for the gift. Abna. Thank you all for the gift. Abna. Thank you guys for the gift. Any other thing you want to share? I just want to tell the women that we should all empower ourselves. Like my father, we know what happened to us. My father is a serious. My father is a man. I'm 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 a man. i or you are churching or churching. To say, Queer, they are fine, Queer, you swap. They are, you got to be, and that's your push, yeah. Then we went with it. Until we are here to learn. Today might not be of use to you, but actually, you know, no be bound for so. And now, most important, yeah, 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 <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if my class prefer speaks, then the class is over. Thank you very much, Abna. I'm excited you came. And those of you who believe that what I say will never help you in future, I don't need a stone from you. Don't bring me stone. When you're coming, buy cement and water because I have too much stones. 
so I can finish my construction. <laughs> I give it two years. You look for me to tell me that counselor can you? Yeah, we should have. And that's it. Okay. Oh, the message is coming here. I can read. Yes. 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 I live outside, that's not my mindset. And I don't think so. I mean, what counselor is saying, I don't think it's wrong in the sense that you need to go to Google Cochita and you say, Ujayawa. That doesn't mean that you should leave the marriage. I don't think it's wrong. 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 Okay. You can stop things out. Our hair, and you're not meeting who? Who grab a chicken out to me and throw them? Is it throw? Throw no. Why who crew? Why do you say who crew? They are perfect. Fuck. A boy. A boy. I bet say. Also, Facebook. I'm sorry for the argument. It was an explanation I was giving to Pastor Ruti. Pastor Ruti uh, has a different mind. She will grow to know. She's not too old. She's a fresh, up and coming man, of, woman of God. She will oh, come back. Sorry, you're me there. Look at you. Oh, it's fine. oh, nobody's insulting you. Somebody said the oh, argument. No, 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 somebody said it's on Facebook. You can go and read. Somebody said that today they didn't enjoy the learning process because of the argument. And I said, no, Pastor Ruti wanted to understand some things. We'll continue tomorrow. Good night. Good morning. Oh, good evening. God. Good afternoon. No, 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 no. We come to learn. No, no, no. Insult is no part of it. All right. Thank you very much. Come, let's learn. We enjoyed you, so please be coming on. Uh, Pastor Ruti, uh, please yes. always, when we are here, ask permission from your husband so you can come. Okay. Hello. Good evening. Okay, good night. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll see you. Good night. I'll see you again in the next two hours. I have a show in the next two hours in, in, in a certain country. Let me sit by play oh, okay. and we'll come back. Abna, Abna, let's talk. Thank you so much. Call me, my dear. Thank you, my dear. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. All right, so all of you, make sure that you go for ginger honey chips, the best chips of the season. Choose some, and you can have energy like me to do what I'm doing right now. Good night. More gifts from Abna. Abna, God bless you. Sure. Oh, no, no. is saying, yay. Pastor Ruti, you didn't give a gift. Ruti, release a gift now before I go. Well, I'll give you a gift at the back, at backstage. For the end of two and a half backstage, you had to go ahead then. Oh, oh I don't know. Something is wrong with it. Wait, let me see. Mechain, Ruti Mechain, who no action at time in now for three hours. Why am I at three hours? Phoebe, Phoebe, you should buy it. Buy it. Ask permission from your husband and buy it. <laughs> Phoebe, send a gift. Ha, I'm on four. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have a trip. Ready, yes. I'm happy. I'm happy and excited for myself. And yeah, Ibi. I hope you can hear the sound. The way I'm chewing is nothing but it's ginger honey chips. Ginger honey chips. Now in the United States of America, everywhere you want. Eight six two two and five. Two zero zero seven. You can chew like this, or better still, put it on your cocoa, rice water, oatmeal. You can put it in me, You know, whiskey. 
The brandy. Anything you want to put it on it. It's so nice. <laughs> so nice. 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 <laughs> oh my god. Ginger honey chips. 862 215 2007. 862 215 2007. It's your ginger honey chips. Get one for yourself. $10. Free to go. Enjoy yourself. Thank you.